everyone knows about the horrors you can find in Walmart. For us, they are simply pictures to make us laugh. We hope you do the same. Here are Walmart shoppers that will make you cringe. More videos on the way, as usual. Sometimes it's downright impossible to do videos on certain topics because of YouTube restrictions and copyrights on media, all that good stuff. But even when the comments section is full of harsh criticism and the dislikes are strong, your support is what keeps us going. Thanks, AA Ron. Number 40. Looking at the wrong thing. Clearly, this guy is looking at the wrong thing in the wrong department. He's looking at a couch in the furniture section when he should really be looking at some pants in the clothing department. Number 39. What about the hair? We get those things make you happy. It seems a lot of the world would agree with those too. What the world doesn't agree with is the hairstyle you've chosen to sport. We would have rather seen you cleanly shaven than with all those tiny rat tails sticking off in every direction. It's also going to be a lot harder to get the things you like with hair like that. Number 38. The Easter Bunny. Normally, the Easter Bunny is supposed to be a person dressed up to take cute pictures with the kids. We don't understand exactly what went wrong with the bunny in this picture, but he sure looks like he'll take your kids and you'll never see them again. Would you want to go sit on that lap? Number 37. Is that hair or a hat? We honestly can't tell. To be even more honest, we don't want to know. All we know is that this person fits in perfectly with the rest of these cringeworthy folk. Number 36. The Trash Bag Man. Now, we don't know if this is a picture of a man or a woman, but honestly, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that this Walmart shopper is wearing a black trash bag as a skirt. Hopefully, they had an actual accident, and that's not just their everyday attire. Number 35. Looking like a Froot Loop. Some people really like to be matchy-matchy. Usually, they stick to clothing and shoes, but this person decided to match their hair with their favorite cereal. Can you guess which kind this Froot Loop likes? Number 34. The Class of Walmart. Where do you think strippers make the most money? At Walmart? Yeah, that seemed a little too far-fetched to us too. But then we saw this picture of when they were holding auditions in the empty ball keep. Number 33. Need a new pair. Suspenders were made to hold your clothes up. If they are no longer doing their job, you might need to get another pair. The suspenders in this picture are clearly hard at work, but they still aren't working. Time for a new pair. Or maybe two, or three, or four. Number 32. Almost there. This poor lady almost had it. She covered her feet well, she did a good job on her legs, she even got her head, shoulders, and chest covered up too. She just failed to cover up anything in the middle section, which should have been the first place she should have been focusing on. Number 31, the stylized mullet. When this woman went to get her hair cut, she didn't know what she wanted. She wanted to change the color of her hair, but she still wanted it to remain blonde. She wanted to have a bob, but she also wanted it short on top. This is the haircut she is left with. Since she's out sporting the look, that means she likes it, right? Number 30, wrapped up tight. We need to know who taught this guy how to choose the right fitting clothes for his size. Maybe they did an all right job teaching him. He just didn't realize that those sizes don't just stop when you're six. Everything he's wearing looks four sizes too small. One sneeze and this man's naked. Number 29, a rebel without a cause. There are some strange outfits found at Walmart, and then there is whatever this is. Usually when rebels get dressed, they are slightly more matched and less hunched than this. But maybe she's rebelling being a rebel? Wouldn't that be rebellious? Number 28, drop something? It's rather surprising that this person hasn't felt that epic breeze behind them yet. Uh, sir, do you realize you've dropped something? Like your pants? You might want to get those. Number 27, comforting myself. At first, you don't see anything wrong with this picture. She isn't wearing strange clothing, and from what we can see, she doesn't have a weird hairstyle. What is extremely disturbing, though, is the fact that she needs to massage her feet while she is eating. Ugh. Number 26. My work here is done. <clears throat> you know that something big just went down in Wally World when you come in to see Batman walking out like he just saved the world. We don't know what he saved us from, but it was surely another horror from Walmart. Number 25, I love my job. There is no better way to represent your company than a company t-shirt. Since they're already wearing one, the only thing left to do is add a belt buckle. This is the one they choose, thug life. Number 24, telling on yourself. When you take one of those motorized scooters at Walmart, the world makes the assumption that you are in some way handicapped or else you could walk, right? Well, whoever thought this lady was in need of help is sadly mistaken. It's clear she can do whatever she sets her mind to, whatever that might be. Number 23, old school layering. When one mentions layering, we immediately think of clothes or cake. We've never heard that word and thought of a toupee until now. Maybe this guy didn't feel like he was getting enough coverage with his first piece, so he opted for another and just stuck it on top. Number 22, in case you were wondering, 
If you looked at the pants and shoes and didn't get it, if you looked at his hat and face and didn't get it, you could have looked at his shirt and understood what the fudge was going on. Just in case you were wondering, you're looking at a redneck in its natural habitat. Number 21. Scared us? We don't know about you, but when we saw that word boo, we were stricken with fright. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that her underwear is showing? But that couldn't be it, could it? Number 20. That's just my wife. We know that this is a video of Walmart folk fit to make you cringe, but we couldn't find the Walmart shopper this car and skeleton belonged to. Since we found a dressed up skeleton in the car though, we couldn't pass up showing it to all of you. Number 19. Shopping with a pal. Doing chores with your friends is a fun way to pass the time. If this guy is bringing his dummy friend with him to shop, we think it's safe to say that he needs to venture out and find some new friends. And a word of advice, leave the dummy at home. Number 18. Freaky with crochet. Her tattoo says she's freaky in bed, but that shirt says that this lady is a super freak with that crochet needle. Another phrase for that would be hot mess, but her tattoo doesn't say anything about her being hot, although it does in many, although it does in so many words say that she's a mess. Number 17, PJ party. It's one thing to wear your pajama bottoms while running into Walmart for some milk. It's a whole different story if you decide to dress up in a cow suit like this lady here. We get that you needed milk. He didn't need to advertise. Number 16, pretty in pink. Check out this lady. She looks more like a street walker from the 80s than a woman shopping at Walmart. But hey, who are we to judge? Number 15, feeling the breeze. So this lovely picture shows you the male version of the side boob, the side fupa. It wasn't something that anyone wanted to see, but here it is anyways for you to look at. Enjoy. Number 14, repeat offender. Yes, this is the same lady that we saw in 16. She's wearing pretty much the same outfit as before. This time, it's just in a different color. Number 13, you're out of ice. Any normal person would have just been able to look through the glass to see if Walmart had any ice left in the store. This genius apparently got himself stuck because he didn't bother to look before he got all the way in. Number 12, forgot something? Like maybe all of your clothes, including your shoes? We are extremely thankful that you thought ahead enough to wear underwear, but we really didn't want to see the rest of you in the first place. Number 11, Fannies Unite. Who knew that there would be such a day? Today, in this picture, we see the union between a fanny as in a butt and a fanny as in a pack. This is one special person to be sporting them both. Number 10, what you got there? Who knows where this man came from? Whatever you do, don't piss this one off. Just look at that crazy chain stick thingy in his arms. Betcha he'll be swinging it at your head if you were to make him mad. Wanna try? We'll watch. Number nine, taste the rainbow. Now we know that these types of items are made upon request at some spray paint booth, so Skittles really isn't condoning tasting this rainbow, which is something we're not about to do. Number eight, a double pair. We don't know what would possess someone to not wear one pair of denim, but two, are your boxers made to look like another pair of jeans or are you really wearing a pair of jorts under your pants? And why? Jeanception. Number seven, extra height required. Maybe this man would have had an easier time looking at things on the bottom shelf if he had chosen to leave the fancy footwear at home. There really wasn't a reason to wear those shoes into Walmart. You were just trying to show off. Number six, pull a tab clothing. We don't know where this lady found her outfit, but it resembles one of those signs that says to take a number if you're interested in a dog walker or whatever. We wonder what you'll get when you pull one of those tabs. Probably not anything worth it. Or an angry lady. Number five, the friend to number seven. The man in this picture needs to get together with a man in number seven. They would surely hit it off. Then they could spend Saturday nights shopping for new heels online, since that's what guys like to do on a Saturday night, right? Number four, expecting rain. This person stepped inside from a horrible thunderstorm. What other reason would you have for keeping the silly umbrella hat on your head while inside? Did you seriously forget that it was on top of your head? Number three, Miss Mohawk. When we first saw this picture, we honestly thought it was of a bird. Then we looked closer and saw that this was a picture of a woman with a very interesting hairstyle. Not one we would have chosen for ourselves, or even for her for that matter. Number two, fresh from the pool. It's clear from this picture that this woman needed to pick up a few things after spending some time at the pool. We don't know where her bottoms went, but it is Walmart she's in after all. And who needs pants? Number one, don't stand downwind. At least this woman's shirt has enough courtesy to tell us what's going on. If we had been crop dusted by that one, we don't know if we would be here to tell the tale. Can you imagine the checkout line? Sheesh! Hey, that's another one. See you next time. Bye! Better.